Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordon and we are back for some more Baldur's Gate 3. Yesterday, I had a really tough time with this area. A lot of very annoying fights in some very annoying areas. We came back to the boudoir to... Um, what's the name? To refresh our spells and our HP, basically. And now we have to go and leave through there and hopefully I can give Mr. Raphael some payback honestly for what he made me go through because this area here was not nice okay let us see what awaits us this was the entrance these are still deactivated. Can I activate them now? A sense of overwhelming nope. loss flows from the pillar. There are souls inside, damned and forgotten. Okay, I imagine that if I try to leave, Raphael is gonna show up. I'm slow yep. for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. Figures. The master of the house is coming. Come at me, bitch. You. Me. I will kill you both. What is this? Oh, that's bad. He's not my friend. There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters <laughs> of kittens, chattering children, the noise and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order and there is decorum. You came here uninvited and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. Um, sure. Kirill, this is your chance to be free. Help me take him down. You think I'm on your side? The nah. only reason you're here is because Raphael allowed you to be. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. Yes. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your <laughs> world to ash. Dramatic. Wrong, wrong, wrong! They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then Hope dies today. Commander. You can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. Mm -hmm. Gladly. We can persuade them to join the winning side, I imagine? Do I want to do that or do I want to fight everything? <clears throat> I guess I'll try the, the, the persuasion route. Join the winning side. Raphael doesn't stand a chance against me. Oh, Okay, <laughs> it's not gonna happen, I don't think. But I will try it. Maybe. Oh, poor Raphael. You are gonna get murdered. To stand against a devil in his own home. Hmm. That takes courage. 
I'm with you. Suck it, Raphael. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. It's all the same in the end. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. I've been hoping to kill you ever since I met you. Hope. It always burns you in the end, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what we have. What? The music is different. Okay, this is a messed up fight here. 31 hit points only. Oh, 666. Okay. I like the music. Okay, let's begin. Eventual Cambion, 18 AC, a lot of stats, fleeting protection. If dealt radiant damage, it reflects. Okay, so don't want to do that. Devilishly strong. While within 18 meters of Raphael, this creature's weapon attacks an additional 3 to 18 hell, increasing damage. Hell, hell has its laws. Hell, hell. Effect in the cause. Curtain falls. But this is very strange music. Squirm, squirm. An now, advantage now, on strength and dexterity checks and attacks. Resistant to everything, basically. Dark Vision, Extra Attack, Fiendish Blessing... Jesus Christ... Infernal Weapon... Holy crap, man... 27 AC? Oh, from Pillar! Hmm. Immune to Fire... Protected by the blood of fiendish ancestors, Cambians have a plus two bonus to their armor class. When you succeed a saving throw, the caster receives burning for three turns, magic resistance, soul pillar proximity. For each remaining soul pillar, Raphael's attacks deal additional one to twelve fire damage, and he has plus three bonus to his dexterity checks and saving throws. When Raphael reduces an enemy's hit points to zero, he severs the soul from their body. With no soul to motivate it, no the affected entity has disadvantage on attack rolls and all ability checks until restore soul is cast on a soul pillar or Raphael. I have no idea what's happening here. Weak to bludgeoning and force. Okay, so... <clears throat> I like the music, but it's hard to think. And from Soul Pillar Proximity... Where is the, where is the buff for this? This one. <clears throat> for each remaining Soul Pillar, okay. So I, I have to break them down, I think. But these are just so many enemies. Okay. They are playing after me. Uh, reminder, what does this do? Additional damage. And they have a bunch of hit points. What is your... Uh, <clears throat> only 13 wisdom. I could try to slow a bunch of these enemies here. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sure. Okay, so slowed, slowed, slowed. Not slowed, slowed and slowed. I'm very happy with the outcome of this. 
Uh, I don't know what these guys do, man. That's what I'm concerned about. What do you do, bitch? Dark Vision, Dwarven Resilience, an Opportunity Attack. Do I just kill her straight up? Resistant to fire, resistant to lightning. I don't even have a lot that I can use to hurt. I could just go for Eldritch Blasts. Deal some damage. Or I could start trying to work on the pillars. What does it mean to be activated? Raphael can now consume souls from this soul pillar to spend on powerful spells. But it is susceptible to radiant damage and other methods of dispelling the gathered souls? What? Can now consume... I don't know what this means. <clears throat> okay. I think I'll, I'll work on those later. Do I want a potion of speed? Three turns and then I become lethargic. Is it worth it? I think it is. Try and clear out as much as possible from the start. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't think I want to go for any kind of fire damage. It's not gonna help me too much. Cold damage, how are they? They are also resistant, Jesus Christ. I think I'll just try to kill this bitch. Let's not toss her back. And just blam blam blam. She's dead. Very good. How did she take... Ah, oh, it's a critical hit, okay. And I think I want to move as far away as possible. Yeah. Stay there. I could bet and try to protect myself against a type of damage, but I'm not sure what exactly is going to come out of this. So I will just wait. Okay, what, what do you do? A concussive... He's about to damage himself. Don't care. What a moron, though. <laughs> Why would you do that? It still dealt decent damage to this guy. Okay. And he goes invisible. That's not too bad. Okay, this guy has way too much defense against normal attacks. <laughs> Should I just start working on the Cambians? Remind myself, while within 80 meters of Raphael, this creature's weapon attack. Okay, okay, okay. Advantage on what? Strength and dexterity checks and attacks. This can frighten, this can daze. Disadvantage on wisdom saving throws, can't take reactions and loses dexterity. I will save this for Raphael, I think. Right, I dealt radiant damage. Fair enough. Uh, you can stay there. This may hurt. He's casting rays of fire. And I think he's aiming at will. And I can't have Will be interrupted. Or break his concentration, I mean. So I think I will counterspell this. Level 2 evocation spell. Okay. <clears throat> counterspell it. Yes, woman, yes. Get smacked. Uh, he's not aiming at her. You can absorb elements, sure. Wait, what is he concentrating on? Okay, so she's, he sends your gear. Uh, not sure where he's aiming at, but I, I think I need to keep a counter spell up for Rafael. Okay, that hurts. 
God damn it! It's gonna it's gonna go for Will, isn't it? I have I have to ignore it. Okay, good. Okay, he slowed. Okay, so he's consuming souls. He healed himself. I will have to see what that means. Um, I think don't react. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I have to think about this. Okay, so he slowed. Can take reactions or make more. Okay, okay, okay. We know this. Punish Divinity. When hit with radiant damage, Raphael can use a reaction to stun the attacker, leaving the impudent creature soul ranged. This creature cannot move or act, and Raphael can soul drain it at will. That hurts. Drain the life force of an infernally stunned creature, restoring your hit points by half damage dealt. <clears throat> Wonderful. And he has four souls to spend on powerful spells. Awesome. Um, I could start using Lazel to begin breaking these pillars, but I would need to swap my main weapon to double the damage. I'm thinking if I want to do that or not. And I think I do, right? Okay. I don't like this, but... I will do it for right now. Okay, so this guy here, my foe breaker. This one ignores resistance to bludgeoning. Are you resistant to bludgeoning? Yes, he is. So this might be a good choice. Okay, take it. <clears throat> the dice roll in my favor. Okay. So what do we do with Gale? I think with Gale I may want to have a Potion of Speed, then cast Haste on Lazel, and then we'll see. Okay, so Potion of Speed, Haste, Lazel. Okay, now we wait, we pick it up, we go over here, 100% chance to hit. Okay, or, or do I jump? Let's just go. Okay. This does a lot of damage. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I, th I think I'll leave this one hit point for someone else like Gale. Can I jump over there? I can't. <clears throat> I can miss this step. But if I miss this step, I won't really be able to move all that much else, so Action Surge won't do much for me. I think it's still worth doing this. Okay, I'm gonna miss this step over here. Smack. I can still move for this one, so it might not be too bad to just action surge here. Okay, I think I will do this. <clears throat> Kill! Okay. Wait. Wait, he has soul overcharge. Raphael has consumed the power of a destroyed soul pillar. He is unable to cast spells using souls until he transforms into the Ascended Fiend. Raphael has gorged on souls and enhanced his fiendish powers, granting him an even deadly array of spells and abilities. In this form, soul overcharge will not prevent him from using spells, uh, souls to cast spells. So what, do I just wait before I break the other pillar? Maybe it can disable him or something? Oh, come on, not enough movement, are you joking? That's so annoying. Um... Okay, I'll still move over here. Or do I want to shoot someone with my bow? 
Nah, you, you can reach this, Blazel. Come on, you can reach this. Of course you can, yes. Now, I'm thinking about tripping this guy. He saved. 14 plus 3 minus 2 plus 4. I'll try it again. Okay. No more for you, my friend. <clears throat> Your turn is ended. Now, Gale is hasted. What do we want to do with Gale? That is a good question, isn't it? I could just overload one of these pillars with damage by using magic missiles, for example. I can't concentrate on anything. Everybody's resistant to lightning, which is annoying. I can ignore the fire resistance with my elemental thingy. So maybe just fireball them? Wouldn't be too bad? Upcast level 4 and fireball... I'm always gonna hit that guy. God damn it. Yeah, there's, there's no good way to fireball here. Unless I moved quite a bit. Let me try this. Step by step. Jesus, stop flickering. Uh, uh. If I can't... Stop it. If I... Mm. Okay, there is a way to do this. Okay, so if I move over the heat, I can do stuff. I can do some stuff. So let's go. So, fireball, we're gonna upcast to level 4 and fireball them. Okay, good. Yep, it, it ignored their resistance. I think I'm gonna run over there. Just to spread my, my people around. I am concerned about breaking his haste. That I am concerned with. Concentrate. I should have also began by blessing everyone with Shadow Heart, but I forgot. Okay. I can come over here. Where is Lazel? Oh, come on. Okay, I can hit, I can hit. Can't reach Will, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. So my option, I think I'm gonna go for a Bless. Bless is always good. I could also go for the spell Evil and Good. But, nah. And do I also want to haste? Maybe. Okay, so I can target one, two, three, four, five, six people. I think I will. Okay, awesome. And I'm also gonna give Blade War to everyone. Okay, perfect. You can move over there. In your turn. Now, my... This is an air, water elemental, okay. I have a Winter's Breath. I have Multi-Attack. Or I can Slam. Just go for a Multi-Attack, I think. The range is not too much. I can do this. It hits both of them. 4d6... Okay. Wow. 
<laughs> Four damage, awesome. Um, I think I want to get close to Raphael, make him focus on me, perhaps. And by me, I mean the water elemental. And you, my friend, can actually use divine intervention because you can only play once. Call upon your deity in the moment of greatest need. Once they interfere, your deity will never do so in this manner again. Golden Generosity. Call upon your deity to provide you with a rich bounty of potions and camp supplies. What the hell? Uh, Sunder the Heretical. Call upon your deity to bring forth a radiant cataclysm upon all nearby enemies. I don't want to trigger radiant damage. Resurrect fallen companions with half their hit points and restore all nearby allies as if they had long rested. This is very good. Grant you a legendary weapon forged in the fires of your holy bond. Okay, I'm gonna wait with this. I'm not gonna go for this just yet. And... Hope banishes one of the unwelcomed guests from her house forever. So what? I can just... Throw away a cambion. That's useful. Okay. Nice, very nice. And she can stay here. No need to heal anyone. I guess I can heal Lazel. Okay, cool. Okay, Will's turn to play again. I'm gonna see what this guy does, given that he is overcharged. I'm just gonna keep on killing the other people. For example, this Cambion here, he's kind of low. And I am concentrating on slow, okay. Let's move up a bit. How are we in terms of HP? 67. 42. Okay. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Good night. Move up a little bit more. And bam, bam, bam. Almost. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna back up again and try to avoid getting interrupted. Two steps at a time. Okay. I don't remember the type of damage they dealt. They dealt fire, right? Yeah, but I am already resistant to fire. Oh! Oh, okay, I have Blade Ward. Right, right. <laughs> I forgot. Is that all you can do, man? Oh, we killed one. How did he kill him? What? How did he kill him? I don't even know how he killed him. Okay. This guy no longer has the fleetish protection. So I'm just gonna go for more radiant and psychic damage here. Okay. And just pass. Yeah, keep focusing on the Deva. No. I want to save my reactions for counter spells. You should never have come. Okay, fiendish ascension. Okay, what are you doing? He doesn't even know. He's chilled. He has five soul charges. What? Won't cover the damage you have. Who's playing? This guy is aiming at someone. <clears throat> this is the last enemy playing this turn. So I, I will counterspell it. So basically the guy spins... <laughs> Again with the music. This guy... Spins his turn ascending. Oh. He becomes vulnerable to cold damage. 
could this be interesting for me? Maybe. Okay. Uh, options. I want to break this with a magic missile. And maybe start working on others or just damage the cambions. So I will just smack people with Lazel. The 10 HP. Applause, this guy is slow, so he cannot react. Here, so I'll just claws. kill this guy. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Extra attack. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Okay, this music is awesome. Um... Gale. I think this is Raphael singing, isn't it? Okay. Not even gonna bother doing a lot of damage here, I don't think it's needed. Okay, he lost another one of those. No deals. It's over. The final act. Do deal. I want to upcast no something on race. this guy? It's over. This house I have over. seven turns of heat. Resistant to fire, or immune to fire even. Let me see what I can do with my other people before I <clears throat> commit with Gale. We're gonna go for a multi-attack. Damn it. Okay, your turn is ended. Your turn is basically ended as well. Shadow Heart. I could go for a harm. But I think not. He still has fleeting protection, which is annoying. Can I summon another planet ally? Not even sure if I can. I imagine I can, but... Don't really want to risk it. Uh, so much divine damage. Hope, what do you want to do? Just smack this... Oh, I can just... yeah. I could just, I could just revoke him. Just take him away, yeah. Do I do that? Or do I save for mass cure wounds? I think I just do this. Yeah, let's just do this. I, I forgot about this skill. Uh, let's spread. So you cancel your intern and you go over there. Okay, perfect. You can stay there. Hope can go over here. And stay where she is. To strike. You can't move anymore. My faith will protect me. You can do something. Weak to force. Not really anything she can do. I guess. No, this guy punishes divinity, right? When hit with radiant damn yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's slowed. So technically... He can't react, but I'm not sure what's going to happen because something saying they can't take a reaction, but then something that says can use a reaction, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I'll just toss one of these over there, because why not? Or, or, I could use Contagion on him. Hmm. Do I want this? Vulnerability to all damage. I think I will go for that, my friends. Let's see if it pays off having this <laughs> this spell on my on my bars for so long. 
Okay, 50-50 chance. Oh, he... Wait, what? He's just immune to it. Bitch, why is he immune? No fair. No fair. He shouldn't be immune. God damn it. Okay, back up. I'm gonna heal Lazel. Okay, end your turn. End your turn. And I figure I'm just gonna start beating on more of these pillars. Just to have more damage done. Like, as a level 2. can end our turn and oh right will I'm gonna get lethargic after this <clears throat> after this round which I dislike which also means he's gonna lose his haste uh, his slow oh that's very bad I did not think about that well let's just do what we can while we can perfect Wait, he lost soul. Oh, okay. He lost soul overcharge, but then he also got soul overcharge again. Yeah, let's do this. Seven hit points. Uh, you're gonna be lethargic, but whatever. Go over there. I mean, everything's cleared except him, so I think we're good. Oh, we still have slow, right, right. Okay. He still has all of his... Oh, because we still have this, right, right. Do I want to break this with this guy? <clears throat> Can I even do it, is the question. Maybe not. Um, I can't daze either. Yeah, sure I can. Okay, go here. Let's daze. Or try to, at least. Oh, he you still dealt... With divine fire. It mm. will burn you. I will counterspell this. Oh, he saved. Okay, the, the counter that didn't actually work. Okay, in turn. He is ascending, but he is slowed. So I think he cannot do anything else. Ow. Okay. Let's see this then. Ascended Fiend. Two. Okay, so he has two turns of being ascended. Granting him an even deadly array of spells and abilities. It doesn't say what. He's vulnerable to cold. This is still active. You are gonna go lethargic as well. God, I hate this. Um. Hell, hell, hell has its wars. Hell, two magic hell, missiles are enough for wars, sure. Wars, but hold your so, like one, Swirl. two, one, two. For now, down here, come the claws. Wait, what? One, two, one, two. Okay. He is still ascended. Mm, he still has soul overcharge, don't know what that means. Okay, he's immune to fire, so I can't damage him like that. I could put a wall of frost behind him. But this is concentration. Man, Lazel is also gonna lose her haste and become lethargic because he's gonna get lethargic. Sucks so much. Mm. I can just go for more magic missiles. The final act, your doom. No more grace, it's over! Yes. This house of hope! Okay, now 
go over there. He is resistant to bludgeoning. His wisdom is still low. So I am I am ignoring resistance on bludgeoning here. I can try to prone him. On the move. Not sure if I can, but I will try it. This is an action, sucks. Okay, let's try and trip. He saved. Try it again. God damn it. Well, I'm gonna try and trip him, but make it a critical strike. Still saved. Just go for damage then, I think. Tenacity. Okay. This is this is why haste is so good. Okay, you stay where you are. What is your resistance to necrotic damage? None. It is none, my friends. None. He has Infernal Retribution. When you succeed a saving throw, the caster receives. This has a saving throw. Yeah, it's such a low chance, man. It's also a saving throw. There's not much I can do to him that isn't but Oh, I can do this. I always forget this. God damn it, man. But it's concentration, so I'm not gonna use it. Hmm. I don't really know what to do. I think I'll just shoot him. Seems kind of silly, but... Okay. Let's go over here. Okay. We are gonna go for a multi-attack on him. And miss everything. And you are simply going to shoot or actually cast a ray of frost. Wait, I can see him. There he is. Okay. Wait, am I still concentrating on slow? Even if I am... Why am I not lethargic? What? Okay, I am kind of confused. Um, this guy. Wait, he no longer has the, the punish divinity. How oh, he doesn't? Oh, you bitch! Then eat it, <laughs> or or not. Hellfire Inferno. <clears throat> 20d6 damage. Hurl an exploding ball of Hellfire that damage all the creatures and objects. Hellfire burns with more fervor than any mortal flame, ignoring resistance and immunity to fire damage. Awesome. It is a level 6 spell, we are gonna counter it. Don't hit. Blaze man. Okay. So he still slows. Perfect. Do I just want what should I do? to? No, I, I don't, I don't want to break my my saving throws. Okay, so he's lethargic now. It's fine. I'll just continue smacking this guy. Yeah, and this hammer is actually my best choice. 
I think. Yep. Very good rolls, Lazel. Um, I actually wonder if there's a trick to killing him that's not just bashing his head in. But if it's working, I'm gonna take it. Concussive smash, possibly daze. I kind of forgot this. Breeze slowed, backbreaker. Possibly knock your enemy prone. Uh, I'll try and use these things on my next turn. Critical hit. Tenacity. Okay. Blinding shot. It's also saving throw based, so I don't think I want to do it. Let's just shoot the guy. A little bit closer, please. Wait, what? Ah. Okay, divine strike. Uh, multi attack. Can never land a hit, can you? <laughs> Good job. We have our friends back. I could go for another potion of speed, but I don't think it's necessary, honestly. Smack the bitch. Oops. What are you doing? Ugh. That was painful. And the worst part about this is that I, I will not be able to counter his next spell. Because I'm out of level 6 spells. Spell slots, I mean. So somebody's gonna die. Oh, let's see. You don't really do much, do you, man? Okay, he does not have punish the thingies. Good job. Oh god. I can protect Lazel. Oh, I could only protect the water elemental. Okay, that's sad. Okay, that's your action for the turn, my friend. What else you got? Because if that's all, that wasn't much. Okay, so let's try and go for the backbreaker, trying to knock him prone. Oh. Sweetness and gloriousness. Die! 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 Die. <laughs> We are alive, Hope. Why are you talking to Gale, you dumb bitch? <laughs> I expected him to put up more of a fight. I was just about quite all right with the amount of fight he put up. If anything, I would have preferred less. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. <gasps> but my poor sister, Corilla. She's dead. Was I supposed right to save died. her? And that makes me want to weep an ocean. Hmm. Um. Um, after all she did to you, she doesn't deserve your tears. You don't know the half of what she did. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But 
But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. And despite all the years hmm. I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm, and the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. You should come with me. And go where? I don't think I quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. Well, true. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I <laughs> hope I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years, and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope again. the echoes of pain will fade. Pian. And memories <laughs> of sorrow will die. And that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. Okay. I will say I love this fight. I love the fact that it has its own unique soundtrack. Even if at times it's a little bit loud. And... It's hard to think, but it was very cool. It was very cool. Hope is finally free. She plans to give true meaning to the name House of Hope. And you receive Gloves of Soul Catching. Your unarmed attacks are, oh, come on. Deal an additional 1d10 force damage. Soul Catching. Once per turn on an, un on an unarmed hit, you regain 10 hit points. Alternatively, you may forego healing to gain advantage on attack rolls and saving throws until the end of your next turn. That is very good. For a monk, but it is very good. Let me just make absolutely sure. Yeah, everything happens on an unharmed hit. Okay, you can choose to use it on a spell, for example. Why are you topless, scale? I'm needed. Okay. Heading out. So what do we have? I might try and make a video of this fight. Uh, also fighting this guy. He was kind of a... He didn't do much. At the start he used some shockwaves over here that I think killed like one guy. And heavily damaged the other one. So it's not all bad. But for the most part he dealt 5 damage and then he went invisible. Which isn't really very impressive let's say. But I would like to see the fight with him. And maybe even... I don't know. Consider having a fight where you don't kill Kirilla. It depends on what she does. If she casts, no, um, if she casts nasty spells, you really don't want to leave her alive. I would still like to see it, though. Okay, we'll see. If it happens, my friends, the video will come up probably after this episode. Now, why is this count as stealing? I'm gonna quick save in case something goes very dumb. Like, this is stealing. Are you gonna get upset? No, he doesn't care. Okay, gold, pearl. Report for Raphael. Somehow, word that the Orphic Hammer is in the House of Hope has gotten out and is circulating on the Gates Information Black Market. I have two suspects for this. First, Gortash, who of course knows many of the house's secrets. And second, the Diabolist for Hire, Helsic, who I think helped Gortash burgle the Crown of Carses and might have learned about the hammer from him. If I had to guess, I'd wage it was Helsic, simply because if she has something that's worth money, she'll find a way to sell it. And selling a way to free Orpheus could come with a high price tag. Okay. This is our way back. Okay, Rafael, what do you have? We're gonna leave the best for last. Rafael's diary, three chapters. And finally, be good, please! 
Ah, why is it heavy armor? Legendary heavy armor, hell dusk armor. You are considered proficient with this armor while wearing it? Okay, this is very good. <laughs> this is much better than I thought. Infernal Retribution. When you succeed a saving throw, the caster receives burning for three turns. And Prime Ages of Fire. You have resistance to fire damage and cannot be burned. You take three less damage from all sources. God damn. It also flies. You are considered proficient with this. Huh. So, not for Will, because I do want the extra damage from Charisma. Direct. I'm thinking about this on Gale. You get a plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Eh. But then again, you would have Gale with 23 AC as a wizard. Damn. Damn. I, th I think it's still, it's still not going to be used. How does it compare to what you are using, Lazel? And this hammer proved to be quite good. Actually, was this one better? 11 to 20... Nah, it has unshackling strike, right? It doesn't make much of a difference here. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, this, ha this hammer ended up being quite good. Wait, how can you do this? I ah, like this. Uh, Moonglaive. Okay. So how do you compare? 21 versus 16, that in reality is 18, because it has a dexterity bonus. All incoming damage reduced by 1 versus 3. Resistance to fire and cannot be burned is much better. When a melee attack hits you, the attacker is sent reeling for 2 turns. Disadvantage on stealth checks and attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. Yeah, I think this is better for her. Goes up to 23 AC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Now, you can compare the armor pieces. Oh, this is... Okay. This is a very simple change here. Oh, it does have one more AC. But she cannot be crit, so... Oh, she was using the wrong shield. God damn. Okay, nobody saw that. Everything is fine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm happy about it. I want to read the journals. Chapter 1. A chapter from a diary penned in Raphael's sabaritic hand. While I have, over many a sumptuous season, cast the net of my contractual predilections both far and wide, never have I been so attracted to mortals as I am to those infested by the tadpole. These particular fish find themselves plashing toward their doom, toward a steel hook unblenished by bait. How they resist the current! How inexorable its whelm, its tug, its dark undertow! At the other end of the fishing pole, the illithid. How their tentacles must quiver like cool jelly at the prospect of more catches, more and more each day along the troubled riverbank. This process has a name, oh, has an, uh, yeah, has a name I sample now aloud to savor its taste, Ceramorphosis. I shall make crafty use of this development. For with the hook glinting and death so close, what could loom larger in the stricken fish's mind than the prospect of rescue? Chapter 2. Last night I dreamt of a river, waist deep I waded in. Rusted hooks curled up from the water like the snaggled teeth of something ancient and diseased and submerged. The moon over the water cracked and fire flew out of the stubby wings of gormless insane, insanely chirping chicks. They transformed into wriggling oblongs like sperm, what? Yet by the time they hit the water they were fish with scales of orange and gold. There came a, sh a rushing sound, the dark water ablaze as if the fish were matches and the river a snake of oil. Approaching me out of the flames came the tadpole infested. There was one among them who spoke for the rest. They gestured to the melting hook, suddenly glanced my way, and in their face I saw they had the best of me. In waking, my courage has firmed. I progress my plans for the tadpole even now. I am Raphael. I am not easily bested. I beg to differ. And chapter 3. 
The final chapter from a diary penned in Raphael's hand. Here and there his composed hand stiffens and moves erratically, as if he were by time seized by emotion both powerful and unexpected. The plot thickens, goes the aphorism, entirely inadequate. The plot mutates, it fluctuates. I have conceived no less than 13 variations by which I might seize the crown of courses. Yet, in the tumult of this eternally flowing river of schemes, I, the most careful of fishermen, finds this catch, il uh, catch elusive and difficult to wrangle. Even in cooperation such, a, such ambiguity and delicious surprise. But the hook has snagged. The doom of Ceramorphosis has abated, yet they could not predict, could they, could they, that in leaving behind the river they have in fact welcomed the fishbowl? I am master here, a prince of bargains cloaked in cunning like scarlet satin, all that hidden under sublimely obvious truths that cannot be discounted. So the fisherman reels, the tadpole are my catch. Struggle as they might, ride as they wish, flop and squirm and thresh with every ounce of strength, no matter. By all the reeking flames of hell, I will not be denied. Guess what, Raphael? You were... Sent to camp. Okay, my friends, and I think this is what I'm gonna end the episode. It was a very large episode for a single fight, but it was a very cool fight. Um, in the next one, we're gonna talk to this guy and probably just get away from here. And I'm gonna try and see if I can record another video of doing this fight again, but with this guy on the enemy side, and try maybe to keep Kurilla alive. We'll see. As always, my friends, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you guys enjoyed this fight with Raphael. If you have any questions, suggestions, if you want to share your own experience with this fight, which is quite different from the rest, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing for more, many more videos coming out soon, and it is also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode, and until then, stay safe everyone.